In this example, we are going to align two sequences. To complete this task, we must remember a few simple things. First, leave a space on both sides before writing the sequence. Second, we must assign the gap values in both column 1 and row 1. The following step is to complete the matrix. This is the direction for filling it. Next, and most importantly, how do we fill the matrix? To fill out this box, let's call it box number 1. Values will come from three directions, top, left, and diagonally. In light of these considerations, we fill in the boxes in the given example. Every match has a value of plus 1, every mismatch has a value of minus 1, and every gap has a value of minus 2. So, first, we add a gap position for columns and rows, and then we write the desired sequence. Then, by progressively adding the gap penalties, assign the gap values in both the first column and the first row. In this case, the gap penalty is minus 2 and the first row and column will be filled as follows, then we must fill in box number 1. This requires us to consider three values, top, left, and diagonal. The top and left values represent the gap penalty, while the diagonal value represents match and mismatch. It means that when we take values from the top and left sides, we add a gap penalty to them, but if we take values from the diagonal side, we add a match or mismatch value to them. So, to find the value of box number 1, we start with the top side, which is minus 2, and we add a gap penalty of minus 2 for every top movement, so the answer is minus 4. Then we take the value from the left, which is also minus 2, and add it to a gap penalty to get minus 4. Finally, we take the value from the diagonal box, which is 0. As we all know, taking value from the diagonal box leads to the addition of a match or mismatch penalty. In this case, t corresponds to t so we add 1 to 0 to get 1. Now, from all of these values, we will choose the highest number and place it in box number 1. Similarly, for the next box, we take the value from the top side and add a gap penalty, yielding minus 6. Next, we take the value from the left side and apply a gap penalty once more, yielding minus 1. We took value from the diagonal box in the last step. And now we must add match or mismatch value. In this case, t does not correspond to a. So we add the mismatch value, which is minus 1 to get minus 3. Fill the entire matrix in this manner to complete the second step of the algorithm. The final step is to track back to determine the best alignment. Backtracking begins in the bottom right corner and moves to the top left corner. If the two letters corresponding to the box are the same, we proceed diagonally. If the letters are not identical, we will proceed to the highest value on the top and left sides. So let's start backtracking. As I mentioned earlier, if the two letters match, then we move diagonally. A matches with A, so we move diagonally. Next, again, G matches with G, again, move diagonally. C does not match with G, so we move toward the left or top, where we find the highest number. We have 0 on both sides, which means we can move either way. Now, C does not match with the letter A, so we move toward the highest value either on the top or left side. We've got 2 there, so we move toward that. On the second alignment, A does not match T. Again, we move toward the highest value. Now A matches with A, and T matches with T. So in both cases we move diagonally. The possible alignment should be as follows. Don't forget to subscribe for more informative videos and click the bell icon for the most recent ones.